after trekking up this trail, meeting some super friendly folk and finding a rather crooked camp spot for the night, my goal is to make it to Aneroid Lake today. But will I make it? I still have two thirds of the distance and more than double the elevation left. Hi everyone, this is Andrea with Adventures and Dreams and I hope you're going to join me on this second part of my trip which I think is going to be pretty tough for me because I still have quite a ways to go with more elevation gain, more miles and who knows what along the way. But I already picture myself sitting by the lake and looking at the amazing mountains across from me so hopefully that will work out today. I sure wish I had some muffins with me, but I had to conserve weight as much as I could. It's quite a heavy pack this time, with all the food. But I slept really well last night. I mean, it was so crooked. It's unbelievable how many rocks were underneath there. Big rocks that I couldn't remove or, or do anything with. But um, that firm rest really just evened everything out um, and I was super comfortable. It's unbelievable. I bought the wrong coffee also. This is just black coffee and it's terrible. I uh, In Canada I used to buy um, cappuccino which was so delicious and I haven't found it in the stores here yet. I might actually have to buy it online. It was creamy and and rich for instant coffee, so good. But this is the very opposite of it. <laughs> Wait for it. Hmm. There it is. Staying hydrated on a difficult and long trek like this is so important. So the first thing I did each morning before hiking out is filling up my hydration bladder with freshly filtered and super delicious mountain water from a stream. takes up some space in your pack for sure but it really beats trying to reach your water bottle that's in the side pockets and you end up just not drinking enough on days like this but here I just reach for the little hose and drink whenever I want to when I pack my backpack I always start with my tent first and then my sleep system if you're wondering why I do it this way, you can check out my video on how I pack my backpack, which I'll link in the description below. Thank you. 
people that are coming back from the campsites up here from the lake or even from other campsites they are super nice I don't know if I've ever met a not nice person on the trail I'm sure you can agree and if you have met somebody not nice let me know in the comments <laughs> let me know what happened there but I always run into awesome people here uh, one guy actually showed me a campsite that is closer uh, it's not as far as the lake and that's one I kind of looked at before as well and uh, we'll see how far I make it but I hope I make it to the lake so we'll see but anyway it just keeps on going up and up and everybody's saying the same thing it's just a steady incline the whole way so back to it I'm just using the filming as an excuse for a break <laughs> The storm I was hoping to avoid yesterday came to me today. I don't know if the mic picks up the, the rumbling. <laughs> I immediately took off my pack and put my rain cover on and my rain jacket. So there's really nothing I can do. I just keep on tracking and if it gets really bad, I'll try to find some cover but right now it's just a light rain and a light rumble so we'll see I do love the sound of thunder I sure hope the mic picks it up but everywhere the peaks are visible in all directions almost I'm just still in the trees but I think it's gonna open up a little bit later and then I can see them for real
just passed a nice campsite and here is also everything flat it's the first time on this entire trip that I see flat ground <laughs> yeah looks really pretty but I'm just gonna keep going in the hope that I can make it to the lake it's raining a bit more now but the thunder is really still light there's nothing to worry about I don't think this place here is just so cool such a big open space and I could really camp here if I needed to very pretty fell over here but we already have a new tiny tree here so cute keep on growing little guy so maybe you can be as big as the one that fell I'm really close to the lake now. There was actually already a path that went to it, but it's supposed to be private property. And so I didn't go down there. I'm just looping around to the other side of the lake and hopefully we'll see it soon. But it's so quiet here. I hear nothing. I haven't seen anybody in quite a while, probably in two hours now. Which is nice. It's just peace and quiet. Hmm. I can't wait to see the lake and settle down and sit down in my chair and do nothing for the rest of the day. There it is. Hope we find some good camping on this side here. And the sun is back also. Perfect timing. I think we have found our camping spot. It's very nice.
I do love pasta when I go backpacking. And this time I have the good to go meal that I've used a few times already. It's the pasta marinara. It's really good. It takes a little longer to prepare, but I've always loved it. It has big chunks of dried tomato in it. So. Very tomatoy. This place is quite amazing, isn't it? It's just as I hoped. And in the morning, these mountains should glow with the sun, but I'm not gonna get up at five or six o'clock to get that morning light. I think I'm probably gonna sleep in unless I wake up. But yeah, it's a good reason to celebrate being here, making it all the way here. I think this was the hardest backpacking I've done so far. I know compared to some of you guys, this was nothing, but um, for me, it was quite quite a feat to celebrate this little win. I have a bottle of wine and I have some aged Gouda that I brought here. Uh, have you had aged Gouda before? Because if you haven't, you need to try this. But I decided to stay only one night over here. Uh, first of all, because I think you're never going to be quite alone over here. And then I want to cut uh, my path on the way back to the car a little bit shorter. Uh, I don't want to do it all in one day. And so I think tomorrow night I'm going to stay at that big meadow that we saw on the way up here. It was so gorgeous, beautiful views, and I'm pretty sure I'll be alone over there. And then I'm gonna stay one extra night. I decided that on the way up here as I was walking, because if I walk back, it's gonna be kind of late by the time I get to the car. I'm gonna be tired, exhausted, and then I still have almost seven hours to drive to get back home. So the and it's going to be in the dark, so yeah, I'm not uh, looking forward to that. So I decided to stay one more night, have a good night's sleep, and then um, have one more camping. And then just drive back during the day. And I'm pretty much leaving my tent right where I had it the first night. It was just off the trailhead. I think that's a good idea. I don't have an extra dinner, so I just have to survive on snacks. I'll leave some of my cheese <laughs> and I have some other stuff too I'm not gonna starve but I just don't have a real dinner with me an extra one so but that's fine so yeah I actually have three more nights of camping that's really awesome <laughs>